Hello and welcome to episode 17 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Leighton Orion. Couple of things to talk about before we get on with the games. First off, the series is still in hot water and it's going to be in hot water for a while. So we need your support all the time. Share it, view it. Youth Squad Legends need your help. In lighter news, one of my patrons, Jonathan, is donating $10 to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital for every time Tembo makes a save in the span of three episodes. So last episode he donated $30 and I'll keep you up to date with his progress. Leighton Orient against Accrington Stanley. They are a very, very tall team. And even if we could get some good deliveries into the box, there's then that question of, can we win the headers? We're going to try and send it. Luis Proctor! Oh, he scored again! Wow, wow, wow! Just lost his marker enough. It's a free header. And he's placed it beautifully between the man at the front post and the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper called saving. That is genius. Oh, that's well worked. That'll be top corner. Yeah, indeed. I've put their shot error up to 65. And they're like, yeah, top corner, boy. I'm feeling hopeful, although there will be like some really high overall players here for Accrington Stanley. Because of the size of them, we might actually have a speed advantage for once. As if that goalkeeper's called saving. I'm not having that. Guanavia. Yeah, he's never going to win that header. Tembo could have made a little bit more effort. We've got to stop the crosses because if they figure that out, I mean, Avia's absolutely hopeless. Look at Yomba go here. Oh, Henry Yomba! Cannon leg finds the top corner. 2-2. Two -two. Please don't let him cross. Might be going in, playing a low ball. Oh, no! And it comes off Courtney Scott. Tembo should have saved it. Had an awful, awful animation. I'm sure it's right at him. Oh, we've done pretty good there with Courtney Scott. There's no reward. Oh, man, it's right at the end of the half. That extra goal for Accrington Stanley could be all the difference. Nantanino. Oh, how has he reached that? This is more than hopeful now, this substitution. I'm bringing on Bobby Monk, and he's going to play in the middle of the park to try and give us some kind of aerial presence there. Also, he's available from the corner kicks Proctor. This is Bobby Monk. Nah, not from that angle. Through ball to Amit. Panda, he's done really well there, to be honest. Amit! Oh, keeper! Can you please stop doing that? Yomba's gone inside. We'll use Courtney Scott. There's a sea of red shirts. Bobby Monk! Go on, the ice! Get in there! What a decision! Please cover the holes. Nicely done, Lewis Proctor. Don't leave everything to Cleves. Crosses in. Proctor, well done! If that chose Courtney Scott instead, we would have been done for. Corner kick. Little glancing header by Amit Panda. Bobby Monk has won the ball in his own box. Full time, 3-3. Three, three. Bobby Monk, the super sub, has rescued a point. We're just preparing to do some more patron player customization, and I want you to take a look at Romeo Nantanina's squad number that's changed to 99, and that's gonna please a lot of people in the comments section. The guy who's customized him on Patreon has absolutely obliged. And from now on, Romeo Nantanina will be wearing the number 99. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Did you really think Kutsi would cancel Yuko? Viewers watch for me. The next game is a rainy Christmas Eve away against Cambridge United. Sounds pretty awful. The lads just want to get back to the families. Early corner kick. Courtney Scott. Oh, scores the early corner kick. We have an immediate lead. Courtney Scott. Hassan is attacking the space left by Sosa. Here comes the cross. The belly of the back post. He's won the aerial duel against the defender, which is a big, big surprise. What a start. I thought this was going to be a very, very difficult challenge away against Cambridge. That is a fantastic goal. 19 goals in 21 games. Ronnie Forrest going long. Had to spin better. Oh, Sosa! Chip up! Oh, it's in! Unbelievable finish by Bruno Sosa. 3-0! Leighton Orient are crushing Cambridge. Didn't think it was possible. Running on about four hours sleep. Sosa's giving us a lot of joy. Amit Panda just needs to keep on moving, really. 
Sosa, Nantanina looks up. I don't know about keeper coming out. I might have messed that up a little bit. They've gone backwards. Oh, very clever. But they haven't scored. Cambridge haven't scored from that massive chance. Not a bad ball. They do not beat Zungu. Scott a little bit too slow to that ball. And the pass through. This time they've scored. Right at the end of the half when tiredness is setting in. Oh, thank you. Wow. So, so well played. That is Henry Yomba flying in unmarked. Honestly, I was just putting it into an area that potentially could give us some luck and Yomba just appeared out of nowhere. The three goal cushion is fixed up before the second half. I don't think there's any signs of revival. Yomba was somehow found. That's a ball and a great piece of chess control by Jean-Paul Sabali. We've seen that before. So, so, Leighton Orient playing their best football. Here comes the corner kick. Zungu, go on, oh, there he is, there he is. He is a man mountain. Zungu makes it 5-1. We had massive losses on a regular basis, but now we are dishing them out. Cambridge United get themselves a second, but in the grand scheme of things, it is not a massive change. We've been very comfortable in this game for a long time. Yomba, what in the skills, sending the fullback. It is Henry Yomba. Lovely. Nantanina. Are you serious? Are you, are you serious? It is six to in my eyes. Can you say Papa? <laughs> Can you say Tembo? <laughs> Can you say Papa Tembo? Press. <laughs> it's Leighton Orient against Morecambe. This is only three days later, so there is changes. Bobby Monk's in, so you know the game plan. I have been doing this for nine years, and it's the first time a target man has worked. Oh, that's not a great start. It's a loose touch. Swinging slide tackle, a little bit dangerous, if you ask me. But he did get the ball first. I never would have thought Lucas Thompson was going to be as aggressive as he's turning out. It's Morecambe 1, Leighton Orient 0. They don't want that long shot. He looks offside, definitely. Tembo, miraculous save, to be honest. Oh, that is wonderful, wonderful play. Nothing that we could really do there as they split our defence apart with a fantastic through ball. McDonald's made it 2-0 to Morecambe. We're sinking without a trace. We have got a lot of things sorted in this team, but a game like this, what opens your eyes, realise that you've still got plenty of way to go. Oh, 3-0. Tommy Lemon continues to drop disaster classes. I swear I've not seen him complete a pass yet. Bringing the keeper out. Oh, could spell disaster. Finally, after a really late dive, it's very delayed that dive from the attacker. Morecambe have themselves a penalty and it's saved by Tembo. He fixes his own mistake and keeps it at 3-0. Our passing hasn't been there. Uh, yeah, exactly. Right on cue as we misplace that pass to a free Bobby Monk. We are incredibly outnumbered here. No help whatsoever from the midfield. A little bit alarming. Not gonna lie. Look, Nantanina and Thompson just standing there. Shocking. I know that's not on them because the game has some serious problems with tracking back, but damn, it is very, very frustrating when you see it. Yes, Bobby Monk, thank you. That's what happens when we do get it on Bobby Monk's head. I am waiting on Bobby Monk a little bit, but he's not making the real. Oh, Nantanina, what a save. How have they kept that out? Bobby Monk, edge of the box, yes. I can't believe he's done that. Head in hands. At least saves like that are happening when we're 4-1 down and not 2-1 down. Yeah, full time. 4-1, Morecambe, top class today. They are one of the teams that I don't want to see in the playoffs if we get there. Because if we see them, we're in trouble. The final game of the episode, the final game of 2023. MK Dons against Leighton Orion. On the near side, we've got this early MK Dons corner kick that they're trying to... Into the back post, and it's a good call to be honest, because Pepple's not going to win 
anything in the air. You know, Zungu's there to clear. He'll sure try again. And they are playing it real quick. And that is a lovely goal. Too quick for me to comprehend. 1-0. Freeman's got the opener. Amit Panda squeezes it to Yombo. Lozano. No one's picking up Lozano. The midfield is so open. Ah, some direct running is very much possible in this game. Nantanino, they're basically gagging for him to make a big play. Zungo! Ah, oh, missing the slide challenge. MK Dons could make it too. Oh, but the pressure by Ziyapia Tembo. Just about enough. We get the goal kick. If we can fix up our passing, we win the game. But they're so good at going forward. It's like Morecambe going forward. Like Hartlepool defending. Yes, Zungu, off the line. Honestly, probably even worse than Hartlepool. They're not picking up anyone. It's Tommy Lemon! Come on, then! Does Zungu have the legs? Absolutely not. MK Don's back in the lead. We don't want Lozano to go forward. We want Nantanino. Corner kick, Bobby Monk's bread and butter. Is he there for it to win the header? Bobby Monk, young oh! oh! Bobby Monk's first touch was nearly an equaliser. I think they know the looks on their side what? today. Zungu! Surely not, referee. <laughs> One centre back, but then again, they were cutting through me like hot knife through butter anyway, so I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. The flag's probably not going up. <laughs> oh, it's big by Sam Lewis. It was do or die. He could have got sent off quite easily then. Two out of minutes. Go, go, go. Could still get a draw here. Amit Panda. Ball in. Yes! Baxley, yes! Yes, yes! Fraser! It's Jesse Fraser! With them fresh legs just about rescuing a point for Leighton Orient. What a game of football! Players have just left on loan because it's the 1st of January and the transfer window has opened up. So the start of next episode, we'll be able to release Aguiar, Linny, Rambuka, Kendall and it'll complete our new look side. Let's try a scenario out. As Tembo remains in the spotlight, Yuan Tang has become rather fond of baseball. Players in the squad have raised concerns about his strange obsession as baseball memorabilia pops up in peculiar places. Radu insists that the pastime should be ignored. The team need Tang if Tembo ever gets injured, but knows deep down that Tang is so fixated it's probably hurting his goalkeeping ability. Tang's rate of development is going to slow down a little bit. This has been Kutsi. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. We've just got to continue this. You've done great so far helping out Youth Squad Legends. Keep on pushing it and keep on viewing it. Big thanks to everybody on the right hand side, my Patreon supporting me. Love that from you guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.